chose to practice medicine because I felt, um, first in my own personal experiences as both a patient and also having family members as patients, that there was a true need out there for um, physicians to, to be compassionate, not only just knowledgeable, but compassionate for their patients and look at them, you know, as, as a partnership and as an advocate for them. And I thought, um, even at a young age, that I could tell that there was something there missing and that maybe if I could somehow make it through that long journey that I could uh, maybe help add to that in the medical field and make a difference. I am very passionate about providing holistic and preventative care. So when I say that, I mean, yes, it's important to be there for the patient when they're sick, but I also want to help keep them from getting sick and keep them from going into the hospital. So I'm a very big advocate on uh, prevention of medicine, um, women's health care, um, and just looking at the patient kind of as a whole. I, you know, a patient isn't just symptoms. Um, they're, they're a person with feelings and a you know, mind, body, spirit kind of approach, and I really advocate that. It was not a hard choice at all to know that I wanted to practice in St. Charles. This is where I grew up um, from being a little girl. and uh, I went to high school, elementary school, high school here. Um, my family's from here, and I knew that this is home for me. So I knew I wanted to come back to St. Charles and, uh, and treat my home. The most rewarding part about being a doctor uh, is definitely to see when a patient sets a goal for themselves or um, a family member and, and to grow with them as a physician and help them meet those goals, whether it be not only in their health, but maybe their mental status, their spiritual status, whatever it is that um, they need to meet for their own personal goals. And to see them achieve that and to help them achieve that is probably the most rewarding thing for me as a physician.